Hi guys, it's Nicole here with Mommy Tips by Cole. I lost my voice this weekend. It was so much fun at IMATS and I just posted my vlog and I wanted to wait until my voice like was fully back to film this so I really apologize for how I sound. Oh my gosh, it's really I wanted bad. to film this haul for you guys because if you follow my channel, I'm going on vacation in two weeks and I have a whole list of videos that I'm trying to get out and plan for you guys and put out there, especially within the next week, a bunch of travel theme videos that some of you guys requested. So IMATS was just an amazing experience. It was our first time last year. I went with Minette from Learn with Minette and a bunch of our other close friends. And this year was even more amazing because of the other friends that came, even from other states. And we've made some amazing friendships here on YouTube. Um, just through talking to each other through social media or texting or emailing and to finally meet each other in person was just the icing on the cake for this whole entire weekend and I'm just really blessed and thankful to have these amazing friendships and to have connected because of YouTube and to finally have even met each other in person so without further ado I want to talk about what my whole budget was. Last year, if you watch my haul from last year, 2012, I'll link that down below as well as my vlog from last year and the vlog from this year if you're interested to see what the experience was like. I tried to vlog as much of it as I could for you my guys. My budget strictly for makeup was $100 last year and I stayed within budget last year. I think I was under budget by a few dollars or so if I remember correctly. So this year, I wanted to, I thought, initially I thought several months ago that I was going to double that budget or at least up it up a notch and I decided to stick with a hundred dollar budget because, mainly because we're going on vacation in two weeks and um, I have to budget vacation expenses so that was the main reason why I wanted to stick to a low budget. Secondly, I've been doing the whole no makeup with Minette challenge which entails not purchasing any makeup products for the past three months is when she started it but in all actuality I've been doing it since September the only makeup product I've bought since September was the Lorac Pro palette and that was kind of like a Christmas gift to myself so I've been so so good and because of this whole challenge of not buying makeup it's forced me to appreciate the makeup products I already have which is an overabundance and if you really think about it if you do love makeup you just keep collecting and collecting and you want to try all the new things out there and you never really get a full life's use out of the products that you have especially I basically have more than enough I didn't really need more eyeshadows I didn't really need more lipsticks although I did want to try more Inglot, although I did want to try some OCC Lip Tars. Those were kind of at the bottom of my priority list. So with that said, I prioritized my list to things that I want, but more so things that I need and that I don't have like an overabundance uh, amount. Go to iMats, they give you these bags, and they say iMats, International Makeup Artist Trade Show, and then the back is this like, main sponsor, Royal and Lang, Lang Nickel Beauty Collection of brushes. So we got bags like these last year and I grabbed two of them. But when I went to Eve Pearl, if you, my, my bangs are like bothering me. I went to Eve Pearl, if you sign up for their mailing list, they give you this, this free tote bag, which is really cute. And I ended up using this because it was more sturdy to carry all of my products, which is so little. Literally, this is all that Follow I have. Follow me on Instagram. I actually posted a picture of this. It's the Ben Nye Banana Luxury Powder. And it's this setting powder that is like all the rage right now. And I need to look up some tutorials. I've seen people post stuff, but I haven't really looked too much into it because I didn't have it. And I have been wanting it. So this is what I purchased. My first purchase in how many months since September since I bought the Lorac Pro palette and this was eight dollars so I'm really excited if you guys have this let me know your tips or tricks on how to use this or how you apply it or what tools that you use to work out best my next it. purchase was from Bedellium Tools 
I purchased my first ever Bedellium Tools brushes last year at IMAX and I got the yellow line. I don't know exactly what the yellow line is the called. The Pink Bamboo Series is professional, eco-friendly makeup brush, all sustainable bamboo, 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 bamboo handles, all vegan soft synthetic bristles, and it's 100% cruelty free. And I love the brushes that I have. If you watch some of my videos, you probably see I always use those brushes. And I almost... I almost bought brushes that were the same exact brushes that I had, but then in pink. And my friends were like, do you really need to get the same exact brushes? Try something new if you're going to try this line. So I tried to go for brushes that I did not have yet. So the first brush I picked up was this Bedellium Tools 949 face brush. And this was $9. It's a pointed foundation brush. It's good for foundation, concealing, contouring, and highlighting. And my cousin Claire was saying she was planning to use this. And my friend Jamie um, using the Ben Nye uh, Luxury Banana Powder. So I'm really excited to try this. They're super, super fluffy and soft. Um, obviously, it's close right now. The next item is the Slanted Contour Face Brush. And it's 942 And this was $8. And I mainly wanted... A new brush for the purpose of contouring something smaller than what I already have to really like get into this little crevice The next there. item I got was the an eyes brush and it's 766 and this was five dollars it's an angled shadow brush it says it's for applying shadow to the crease and corners of the eye so I do not yet have like an angled brush like this to use purposely for my outer corner and I have small eyes so a lot of the brushes out there that are for like the outer corner or whatnot I feel like they're so big and I can't really you know get a good like use out of it because my eye is so small I have to concentrate it like just in that corner so I think that this will be great my for next that. purchase was from Eve Pearl and they gave it in this little Bag if you watched my vlog, I actually sat in the chair and makeup artist tested out this particular um, color on me and I got to see what it looked like in comparison to what I already had versus that and we swatched it and it's so 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 creamy. I didn't even say what it was yet but it's the dual salmon concealer treatment and I got it in medium tan. It's paraben free, petroleum free, fragrance free, water free and it's her face and body. It's sheer Full, it's sheer, medium, full coverage, silky, creamy texture, invisibly smooth and flawless, and really it is just that. That's a multifunctional concealer um, and an under eye treatment with vitamin E. Helps to reduce appearance of dark under eye circles, which I have, fine lines and crow's speech, which I don't, which I don't have yet. Um, and puffiness, which I get occasionally. This set was $25. There was a trio, but the lady had suggested that I just go for the duo. This is what it looks like. So, so cute. It says they're Eve Pearl, and it has a mirror. And then this is the two colors, which you can mix depending on your skin tone, especially summer. So I'm really excited to try this. Um, it's just really compact, and I just love the formula and the texture, and I actually got to see what it looked like on my The last set of things I got were from Ardell, and they were lashes. I got 124 black, which is more natural. I got the Demi Pixies. I got two of these um, Demi Pixies in black, which I wore. I had them apply this on I have the empty packet here. They applied it on me there, which I really love that. And then I got the 101 Demi Black right there. And the lashes were really great deal. They were four for $10, um, eight for 20. And then if you got eight, you got a free uh, lash glue by Ardell, the clear adhesive. And the only reason, excuse me, why I did get the free lash glue was because I bought a bunch of stuff from my friend Joanne from Just Joanne. So hi Joanne. I hope you enjoy all the stuff that um, you asked me to pick up for you. So she gave me some money to pick up stuff for her. So I got the free lash glue because I purchased it. I felt like I was shopping although I wasn't because I was shopping for my friend Joanne. So I got that kind of high from like picking out her Inglot palette um, and you know buying all the other stuff on her list and swatching things and so forth. So those are all the things that I got and I think everything came out to $65. So I'm really like, let me pat myself on the back. So I really stuck to my budget um, 
but this is just for the makeup stuff. Of course, there's commuting and, and food and, and whatnot. So you really have to, when you go to IMATS, you have to think about budget as far as what you're spending on products or what you plan to and prioritize your list to know like what's the things at the top, that's what you get first. And then it kind of trickles down depending on what's available and the prices because um, you wouldn't know what the prices are with the discounts until you go On top there. of that budgeting, you have to calculate you know, expenses when you're when you're there, whatever location um, IMATS you are, whether you're traveling from out of town or whether you live in that town, um, you're gonna spend commuting expenses and food or whatnot, or if you're gonna go out with your friends and stuff like that. So that's another whole like budgeting within itself. So that's why I think that I had a lower budget this year because we, you know, went out to dinner with my friends, we had lunch with my friends, and then we went to two events style hall event for those of us that are partnered with style hall and then we went to the makeup um, artist magazine a um, hundred celebration of their hundredth issue um, after party which was in the evening after so those are all the items that I got let me know if you guys tried any of those products I'd love to hear your thoughts but I wanted to throw these in there because I got some gifts from my friends and I'm just really touched and starting with cards i got a card from rose beauty 21 who i just met for the first time so i hope to see her um you know in the coming summer because she lives in the city and so do um oh, that's not my card it's my cousin's card but from risa risi babe and cat from kit kat says they gave a little you know special card too i'm not going to read it it's personal but um they they also live in new york and you know they came uh, on Sunday when we had a little luncheon here and they gave us a card and then I bumped into my friend Tina who is a makeup artist and her um, her company is 1SL which stands for One Stop Ladies and it was really really adorable because she gave her car her business cards but yet she collaborated with this company called um, Clo Hair Bows Cute and Simple Hair Bows um, and I'll put the the website right here and down below and also for Tina's um, information but she collaborated with them so she, they gave these hair bows which I'm giving to the girls but I wanted to show you guys in the video first I thought that was really really adorable like a nice added touch of something to bring home to my girls. And I met one of my subscribers Jane which is Moments of Color and she just touched my heart. She was just really really so sweet and encouraging and just really humbling the things that she was saying to me and Manette and I just never expected this in a million years. Um, it's just one thing enough to meet anybody that watches my videos. Um, I also met Miss Pretty Pink. Um, she was so, so cute and sweet and she's also a mom and she watches my videos too and also Manette's and she was just so, it's just really humbling. It's just hard to explain. It was just like the first time that that we were ever like recognized which whatever that means because I don't really consider people that watch my videos like fans or followers I just consider you guys viewers friends like extended family because we talk a lot of us talk to each other all the time through you know videos or social media or whatnot so she gave me a gift here and a card and she gave me three makeup products I'll show you guys real quick um, she's just so sweet a baby lips um, lip balm and this is in pink 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 punch and I have never tried baby lips surprisingly and she gave me wet and wild palette and I don't have this surprisingly enough and it's the spoiled brat palette and she also gave me a I didn't mean to throw it but um, she also gave me a lash blast uh, mascara and I have been needing a new mascara and this is by cover thank you so much Jane for your thoughtfulness and your sweet words and just spending time with us and also Brandy from Brandy Loves Beauty she stayed with Minette that weekend with Lee she from Lee she eternally and Brandy gave me a gift too and she really didn't have to she gave me a palette oh my gosh and I have been eyeing this and haven't been able to buy obviously but it's the Too Faced Boudoir, Boudoir palette. Oh, it's so gorgeous. I have to show you guys. So this is the palette. It's like in a little tin there and oh it's just gorgeous. These beautiful colors are perfect for spring and summer. Just light and airy. It's like really up my alley and you can create smoky looks and whatnot. Thank you so much Brandy. So it's like even though I had this budget I got more things that I didn't even expect and I'm just I'm like at a loss for words, so thanks to Rose, Risa, Kat, um, Jane, 
um, Kira from Miss Pretty Pink and Brandy for these thoughtful gifts and I just want to thank you guys for watching and let me know if you have any questions at all and again I apologize for my voice and I'll see you in the next video bye